Okay, we'll head over to the downloads page, uh, tenable.com forward slash downloads. Here we can install Nessus. Okay, so we'll select the version and the platform and hit the download button. We'll agree to this license agreement here. Download will start. Okay, we'll let that complete and then we'll launch it. Come to this install wizard. We'll hit next here. Agree to the license agreement again. Okay, and now it's going to start to install. Okay, we'll finish there. And now it's going to launch the web app. We'll connect via SSL. We're going to get a certificate error here because it's running locally. And now this is going to start to initialize. Okay, it's now completed. So here we can register offline if we want to, but there's no need for us to do that. So we'll just hit continue and we'll select our version of Nessus to install. In this instance, we're going to install Nessus Essentials. We'll select that there and continue. Now we'll enter in our details. This is going to give us an activation code. Okay, here's our activation code. We'll continue here create a user account for our Nessus scanner and submit that okay setup is now complete so now it's going to start actually building itself out it's going to download the plugins and it's going to actually set up Nessus okay here it is it's now set up um, got a quick prompt here Okay, we'll close that off. We can see the events here. So it's really still building itself in the background. So we're not going to be able to run any scans just yet. Okay, so we can see our update is pending here. Yeah, so this is all going to be greyed out for the time being until it actually completes installing. Okay, it's now completed. We'll get a quick prompt here for starting a host discovery scan. This is something you can do. I'm not going to do that here. But now we can create new scans. So we have access to everything here apart from those of upgrade. That is, of course, for the premium service. Uh, we have installed the essentials.